Ladies and gentlemen, here we go into our main event sequence of matches. And the first of these features the very best of men at an arm wrestling table. I'd like you to welcome him now. He hails from the United States of America and needs no introduction anywhere in the world. This man is universally recognized as the greatest arm wrestler of all time. Please welcome the perfect storm, John Brzezinski. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes, John Brzezinski, 58 years old, the absolute greatest arm wrestler of all time. He's been dominating for almost four decades at the top of the sport. Uh, he's been the world champion. He's been the overall rank number one for such a period of time. He's had more dominance in this sport than... You could say any athlete in any other sport. This man is arm wrestling, and tonight we get to see him against the young superstar, Oleg Petrenko. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent hails from Ukraine. He is a multiple Ukrainian national champion, a former member of World Cup champion. Please give a round of applause and welcome Ole Petrenko. Oleg Petrenko from Ukraine, 26 years old. More, John is twice his age and a little more. Right now, Oleg Petrenko today looked phenomenal. He's coming in in a great shape. At one point was the number one guy, I would say on the planet under 95, 100 kilos. Oleg Petrenko, John Berzank is going to be epic clash of young versus old, strong versus technical. I think at one point, Neil Pickup is going to change me in commentary booth. He's going to stay here with Ryan Bowen. But right now, as we wait for Neil to come, let's get on with this match. And I'm really excited. This is one of the matches I was looking forward to because I want to know how strong Petrenko is and... You know, is he at that absolute top level at this weight class? They both weighed in at 104 kilos. So that was the weight cap for both of these athletes. Are they going to 115 or are they going to stay at 105 or 100? Thank you, Coach. We'll see. All right, here we go. You can see the setup around one already on the way. It's Oleg Petrenko, we saw him immensely looking strong earlier tonight on the left arm. Up against John Brzezink, the greatest arm wrestler of all time now, a different test. Of course, John, known for immense control. Wrist flexion, pronation are what he is best at. And Oleg Petrenko, you can see already that he's feeling the stress in the hand. Both these guys being very wary of giving their opponent too much access to power. Neither of them are willing to square up so far. At the moment, you can see Oleg Petrenko's wrist flexion and John Brzezink conceding on the pronation so that he gets the contact that he wants. Uh, the referee's grip coming up. What, what do you think John's going to do? Because John has both the options, and uh, he knows he's not facing a real top roller. He's not, like, uh, he's not aiming for his hand. What do you think? Yeah, look, at, at this point in Sorry, time... Sorry, Neil Ol Pickup Oleg is here. Petrenko. i got to leave. My dad's here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcoming into the commentary booth, the man known as uh, the voice of arm wrestling, truly, but has been there for decades. Welcome, Neil Pickup. How are you, sir? I'm very good, mate. I'm a little out of breath, but here we go. Brzezink Petrenko, arm integrity, wow. Yeah, look at that. We saw earlier from Petrenko in the night that he had immense control at center, but John Brzezink there showing straight away back pressure and pronation is enough to threaten the hand of Petrenko. In the straps, Neil, how do we see this one? It's very interesting because that side pressure could be a real effect, could be a real game changer, but John knows the weapon is the hand and wrist. And now is the time to put bleed on the arm of Petrenko. Yeah, now it's fascinating stuff. Uh, Oleg Petrenko, as we know, is a student of the former legend and arm wrestling world number one, Andre Pushka. Uh, and they possess a similar style. Look for Petrenko to attempt to just really stand tall, take control of center and come crashing down. He also has a willingness to let his wrist go and drive sideways with that press. Something that John will be aware of. Let's see if he can handle it. You can see John diligent there trying to... Just tee up the hand and wrist of Petrenko. He knows that's the route through this man. He needs to stay away from the youth, stay away from that tendon strength that Petrenko possesses. Talking to the refs there. 
Yeah, you can see John's not happy, isn't he? John, John is someone who is always a, you have to describe him as a fair setup always. He's always been a gentleman in every grip, but you can see it's getting under the skin there of John. He's not happy, the strap's going off. They're gonna redo this one again. It's funny, in his earlier career, John had such dominance that he didn't really care about that. He would let so many men get away with so much, but now an older John Brzezink needs to not allow those disadvantages to occur. He needs to reset the balance. You can see how calm he is, very focused, very diligent. Is that strap applied? Neil, no. at, at 58 years of age, John, uh, he, his shoulders sore. He doesn't have the side pressure. He's, he's resting on his hand and wrist alone to really just dominate this match. Against a young man like Petrenko, who has immense side pressure, how does John get control of this match? He needs to make sure that he can move him off that shoulder super early, close down the spaces and make his hand the more dominant of the two. Look at him, turn the knuckles out. Give himself that opportunity to prone it a little harder. And that's a massive hit. Oh, I think that was actually a jump start from Petrenko. Yeah, there was a, both, a little bit of early movement from both there. I think you can see the smile on the face of John. I think John knows that he did go early, but so did Petrenko. A bit of jockeying from both these two right now. I think John can sense that he's up against a young stud with a lot of power. Yeah, everybody's going to raise the game when they come to the table to pull the greatest of all time. I mean, John there maybe as equally responsible for initiating that. The little turn on the hand, the catalyst to the movement, but it was definitely all like with the arm movement. And, you know, who can blame the man? Better to go first than not at all. Yeah, fantastic initiation so far. I love this tension. Like I said, we've got a 58-year-old John, the greatest arm wrestler of all time, up against one of the younger gentlemen in the, uh, the sport of arm wrestling who's a true, genuine elite. Uh, this is a huge opportunity for Oli Petrenko. The pressure that he would be feeling right now up against John, the nerves would be high. All of this jockeying and tension, restarts, restraps, a lot of, a lot of tension. This first round will really tell us a big story. It's critical for John that he can come through this relatively unscathed. He would love to get to a position where he can apply that dominance in the hand and wrist and hang up Oleg. Hope that all those big muscles pump up and Oleg's really working on the hand there. Can't take it. Now John just hanging position, waiting to crack that wrist. Oleg very intelligently fouls himself out of the match. He knew that he was on the bleed there. And you can hear that reaction from the crowd, Ryan. What a stuff. Like, like, sometimes when I look at the opponents that John's taking on, I sit there and I shake my head and I think, I worry for John. I, I, I love the, the, the goat being dominant. I think, oh, this guy's so strong. I'm scared for him. But then John just constantly shows he has the tool to counter everyone. The wonderful thing about watching John at this age is that people get to see that this man is a package. Arm wrestling is made up of speed, strength, technique. This man has every box ticked. He really is the perfect storm. And evidence of it more and more as we see him in his twilight years at the table, you're starting to see John Brzezink rely on all of the elements that have made him the man in the game of iron arms. Just there, you can see as the match stops, there was no panic. He was the calmest man in the building. As the crowd started to rev up and started to shout the support, the calmest man was John Brzezink. He held his position and waited. Petrenko felt something he didn't like and showed that experience he has Got out of the match. Here we go. Well, you see John a little unsettled there. There must have been movement just before the go. John making sure that he gets a fair start. Uh, Oli Petrenko perhaps an indication that he is changing his direction and tactics from the go, looking to prevent John Brzezink from getting that dragging, pronated, and flat-wristed defense that he had. But let's see if he can get, manage to get that start away again. Oli Petrenko. His experience, as he said, showing through John Brzezink, Oli Petrenko, round number one. Here we go. You see, you see where my hand is? You see where my hand is? You see where my hand is? No, I'm not trying to rotate. But when you're closing my hand, I'm like underneath already. Let me close my hand. Let me close my hand. Let me close my hand, close my hand here. Not, not here. There you go. John Brzezink showing that he doesn't want to be forced into that supinated or carved in position. He, he's identified a lane, a lane that works for him. 
He okay. says, I want to stay square to the side of the table, which he has every right to. Good communication there, but Ole Petrinka, you have to say, also very intelligent manipulations of his position to get what he wants. Round one, here we go. No. There's the big drive, and Petrinka gets much more arm in the match this time. Joel will get enough there. It's so bad. Away so bad. The so bad. The yeah, I'm like from this. Oleg Petrenko. Brzezink <laughs> remonstrating with the refs, but we'll Oleg right Petrenko, once. the perfect start that against the perfect storm. Yeah, you can see that once the arm on arm is in place, Petrenko, the younger I'm, man, you, does I'm have the horse power to I'm pull like, through. You're but, closing but, me like this. But, Trust, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm, trust that the, 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 the greatest armist like of all this. time, John Brzezink, is well and truly not out of this match. You can see the passion in the way he's communicating this. As we come to a replay, We'll see it there. It was Oleg Petrenko who managed to force himself inside. And definitely early movements there, but that was the way it went. And too much power. Look for a big adjustment from John Brzezink. Well, not necessarily a big adjustment, Neil, but watch the GOAT do his thing. John really there, as you can see, he was what he was upset about was the application of back pressure before the start. It wasn't so much the move to the side. It was that application of back pressure, and it really caught Brzezink napping. You see Devin Larratt giving some words of advice there from the corner to John, two but of the I'm greatest arm wrestlers of all time. I'm upside down like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, if I get that position, I can, I'll can. i be fine. Because the guy plays double. What are we doing? Plenty of tension there, Neil. Yeah. Plenty of tension. John realizing exactly the magnitude of the task in front of him. Now, this is really interesting because John has that opportunity. If he can settle himself down, which you can see he's going through the gears now. He's been here before. A few minor adjustments can equal give miles yourself, at the yourself, table. Give yourself fast start. Give so fast start of both competitors. It doesn't your win. It's zero. Zero, zero. There Very critical. There now, we go. I did say a moment ago that I think John was concerned about the application of the back pressure before the start, and the down ref agrees with that comment. We've got no score on the board, and you can see instantly Brzezink settling down. Strap match. So fascinating development in this match. We are back at 0-0, strap match again. John Brzezink, uh, let's see if he can deny Petrenko that ability to get it arm on arm. Uh, we saw from the very first initiation that if it is a flat-handed wrist, that John Brzezink does have the ability to prevent that side pressure lane going through. Oleg Petrenko, on the, on the other hand, he has demonstrated that he has the power and ability to finish this match if he can get it wrist on wrist, arm on arm. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is going down to the wire. This is anybody's match at this stage. The GOAT, Oleg Petrenko. Here we go. Watch now in this strap. You can see the referee... Hanging on to the hands of both competitors, but watch the lower wrist of John Brzezink when this strap tightens down. As soon as he feels that adjustment, look how far forward John has positioned his wrist and he's kicking it out. The little finger almost pointing to the crowd to try to secure that position and counter the side pressure from Petrenko. If Petrenko charges towards John with the grip first there, down comes Petrenko. He doesn't look near the center there, though, I've got to say. I'm not the one rotating. Trust me, I'm not the one rotating. Yeah, John, John wanting to stay purely square to the table. That big, big false start there from Petrenko, but John Ward rolled with it there. And he secured the wrist and hand, and John Brzezink now in control. Once again, Petrenko choosing not to contest. That's his second foul win. That will be the win to John Petrenko. Wow. Petrenko perhaps making the error and forgetting the fact that he already had used up that life by lifting the elbow intentionally. And this time, subsequently taking the loss, John Brzezink. Arm wrestling, very intelligently, perfect execution. As you called it, Nick, Neil, kicking his wrist back, preventing Oleg Petrenko getting into that wrist flexion position. 1-0, the GOAT. Now, what was really interesting there is the referees, I'm pretty sure, particularly the down ref there, was aware that there was a false start. But he saw the level of comfort in John's face and played the advantage. Great refereeing. Petrenko there really sold it to the side, and that, is a pivotal element within this match. What it demonstrates is that John Brzezink, if he can secure any 
kind of pronation, hand and wrist control, he can dominate the younger man. Petrenko needs to guard the lower palm and secure it deep arm on arm. A difficult no, task. I, after I'm closing, I'm like, I'm like no, if, if you're in Oleg Petrenko's corner right now, and John Brzezink has demonstrated that if he's got his pronation away, that he, that he can't force the hook. Are you, are you saying to him, be ready to flop press? I know he has that in his arsenal. Is it too early to bring it out? It is, yeah. Against a man like John Brzezink, I think that's a, that's a suicidal tendency. If you, if you, unless you can secure a very, very A-side position, evidenced by what we've just seen there, John is not far away in the strength gap. Remember when he was caught mapping a few moments ago, he'd looked for the top roll, he missed the start. When you look for the top roll and don't get it, you're nowhere near set to apply your maximum capability in the arm. But Petrenko, a little bit of a top roll attempt there, and Rezink balling up the hand and wrist. Nothing there, and we'll go into the strap. Now, this will be interesting now with the, the, stra the strap side being alternate with the buckle side on John. Will that play into, into fact uh, when it comes to John achieving that? High, flat-wristed, top-roll defence. It may, it may not. John, of course, is a master of all technical aspects of this sport and can do it from anywhere in the table, but it may somewhat help Petrenko. Uh, it may not disadvantage John, but it may help Petrenko to just have more purchase in his hand and wrist. Could be a factor. Neil, how do you see it? The good thing for John is here that he, he can't be fouled out for over-straightening his wrist. If he wants to kick the lower knuckles out there, that's well within the rules. The issue would be if he was looking to supinate. That's going to be the bigger little, problem. So it may, oh, that's let's listen. It's enough or that's enough, yeah. It's enough. Yeah, John, it's John enough. showing indication that he's happy for a loose strap here, showing again signs that he, he feels good in the hand and wrist. And of course, with the buckle being on John's side, it is his position to elect how tight the strap is. Yeah, and John wants it loose. He wants to gap it as much as he can. The more space he can create between himself and Petrenko, the better. Center, center here. John lowering that shoulder, looking to create the height, but a massive drive from Petrenko. John hangs him up, and the wrist and hand of sacrifice. Brazink in control. Here we go. Petrenko starts to relax now, reset himself, but it's John Brazink. Oh, it's a foul. It's been given as a foul. We're looking at a restart. Look at the disappointment on Brazink's face. Oleg Petrenko is very quick to know when he's lost a round and lift that elbow. And, and he's gotten the restart again. John kind of shaking his head as he says, oh, well, okay, I guess I'll do it again. But what a round there where we hopefully we get the replay coming up shortly. John Brazink catching the enormous drive from Oleg Petrenko and once again showing that his pronation is the weapon. Um, but impressive stuff, Neil. Tremendous evidence there of the difference in the way that these guys have come up through the sport, Ryan. If you look at John Brzezink, you're looking at an old school arm wrestler. A man who doesn't work diligently in the gym, he's not in there pumping iron, he's the guy that's feeling his way through the sport at the arm wrestling table. Oleg Petrenko is the new blood, he's the new breed. This is the man who's worked the gym, he's worked the athleticism, he's diligent, he's considered, he's professional. You can see how much that's been drilled into this young man by the fact that when he feels the danger signs, he hits the ejector seat and he's out of there. Yeah, he doesn't he ever. He really does escape and he times it perfectly. And you can see, look, and that's something that can accumulate over time. John had to work hard to get that stop. And look, any other uh, other opponent, John would have been up two to zero right now. But Oleg Petrenko, incredibly intelligent, as you say, and he's done that. He's going to now get another shot to use that explosive power. John has to now once again achieve what was a very difficult stop. Well, you hope over the course of a match that the look, the swings of fortune will balance themselves out. I think they certainly have there. I think John rode his look uh, in the first round. Oleg Petrenko got away with one there, without question. He needs to make it stick now. He needs to make it count. Rotate, rotate, center, and steer to John center. dropping the shoulder again. Fatigue is a concern for John. Big drive again from Petrenko, but John Brzezink in control there, and look at the face, change of the perfect storm. Brzezink feels it, he loves it. The hand and wrist control is there for John Brzezink, and Petrenko is in a seriously committed position. He couldn't put any more horsepower through there. He needs to go to the bank now, because that hand and wrist will be ruined for the rest of the night, and Brzezink edging, creeping his way back into the match. Look 
at the face of the perfect storm as he edges up that hand of Petrenko. There's the elbow adjustment. Watch for the transition. Watch for the press. It's coming around. He's trying to damage the wrist of Petrenko. Here we go. Werner. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing absolute arm wrestling royalty at its best there. Beautiful arm wrestling from John Brzezink withstanding an enormous attack from Oleg Petrenko and reversing it, having to redline in defense at moments as Petrenko fully committed to the spot press. John Brzezink, take a bow. Wow, look at the replay shows it. After surviving the onslaught from Oleg Petrenko, it was utter hand control, beautiful regrips, the press, the shoulder commitment, and then just a look to the crowd of like, ladies and gentlemen, that is how we arm wrestle. What a magnificent display of arm wrestling there from John. He felt what he wanted in the match early, and then he went to work with an arm wrestling masterclass. And you can see the reaction of the crowd here at the Green Park Hotel and Resort. Wow. John was inducted into the Hall of Fame uh, earlier today. Uh, he's showing us why right now. It's wonderful to be able to watch this, Ryan. It really is a privilege. I'm good. Leave it down low. We'll see if we can catch some words from John there in the corner. Shoulder. Shoulders weaker than the arm is, Gary. If I lift on my arm. And what a great shot that is, Ryan. The yes. legendary Gary Goodridge, a man who brought global notoriety <laughs> to the sport of arm wrestling from his exploits in the octagon, in the ring. And it, back in his day, Gary Goodridge was the overall champion of the yeah. world. He had many duels with John. Let's listen in. No, I won't. John Brzezink doing what he does best and out arm wrestling his opponent. Oleg Petrenko, the young, fiery, strong athlete, has thrown the kitchen sink at John so far tonight. He's come incredibly close, but John just seems to be one step ahead in every area. Let's be honest, I was conscious, don't want to talk over John there. I'd love to catch some snippets, but let's be honest, Petrenko is unfortunate not to have something on the board here. He really is. I mean, the first round. On another day, he's one to the good. Today, not the case. You can see there, Evgeny Prudnik, who we'll see in action later on, coming in with a little word of advice for Petrenko, but I think he needs rosary beads at this point because his hand and wrist are absolutely ruined. What I love is this is a true East versus West battle tonight. Like We're seeing legends on both sides of the, of, of, of the teams coming up and giving advice to these guys. This is, this is brilliant. I love it. The rivalry is well and truly alive. Now, how damaged is that hand and wrist? And where will John Brzezink take this one? You can see he's breathing a little hard. I'm sure John's conscious of the fact that he can't take his foot off the accelerator too much. But many years sharing hotel rooms and beers with this guy have taught me one thing. If John Brzezink feels he's really in the match, he is the kind of arm wrestler that will give rope. He wants the challenge. He wants to feel how easy he can win. Where, where is the edge of that rope right now? Stylistically, where is the danger zone right now? But stylistically, if he allowed Petrenko to close his wrist and make it truly arm on arm, this is an arm wrestling match. Oh, goodness me. I'm scared, but I love it. I want to see it. I don't think John will do that. I think he's there to entertain, but I think he's also there to win this arm wrestling match. He's conscious of the threat that Oleg Petrenko possesses, which <laughs> we have to we have to give him credit for. We saw it in round one when it did go wrist on wrist. It was real, but perhaps the bullets are taking their toll. Oleg Petrenko, uh, you can see he's still composed, but you can see also a, a level of exhaustion is there. John Brzezink uh, up to zero in one round to get. That's all he needs. Here we go. A lot of adrenaline in this match for Oleg as well. He went to the bank on that one. His fatigue level will be high. Big drive to the side, and once again he's committed. But you can see John complete and utter control in there. Just hanging on and waiting, biding his time. He'll wait for that power to deplete as Petrenko drives at him. He'll wait, he'll wait, and then he will go on the counter and start to edge his opponent back. Just basing himself there. He's nowhere else to go at the back of the pad, so he's got to put that pressure down you can yeah, see can the damage see in the shoulder Petrinko is digging deep he's, this is a hard thing for Petrinko right now he knows that if he lets up John will take it away from him and Petrinko is subsequently just holding on redlining for as long as he can praying that the bicep of John is the transition there it is wow, wow. 
Fantastic effort from both men. Take a bow, John Brzezink. Petrenko, well done on such a gallant effort there to dig that deep. But our GOAT is once again at the top of the sport. And Neil Pickup will make his way down now to talk to these two men. Um, but my goodness, we have seen a, a huge reminder of why John Brzezink at age 58 is well and truly the greatest arm wrestler of all time. We see the replays come now. Oleg Petrenko, he gave it his best, but in that early round there, you can see it was John Brzezink who achieve, achieved that flat-wristed top roll defense and Petr forced Petrenko to have to look for the restart. Interestingly, Petrenko did get great purchase in that first round. There was controversy. The referees went back and reviewed it, and it was eventually John Brzezink who managed to get that top roll stop. You can see that beautiful kink in the wrist there, and it was the deliberate foul uh, from Oleg Petrenko that cost him that first round ultimately i think he'd forgotten that he'd done it already and it was john brzenk in control one to zero from there uh once again a huge attempted top roll in round two came from oleg petrenko but it was john brzenk who held on and, and showed us exactly why he was beautiful transitions from defense into offense climbing regripping taking control of center and getting the victory. John Brzezink looking amazing. And it, and it was the final round where we saw such heart from Petrenko, but it wasn't enough to stop the, the, the GOAT from doing what he does best and winning this one 3-0. to zero. Insane. Rolly Ray is back with me. Insane. How, John Brzezink just doing John Brzezink things. We go to Artem Terenenko for post-match interview. Well, hello, John. Congratulations on your win today. Um, did the match go as you expected? Uh, I got the win. I, I, to be quite honest, I didn't know what to expect, uh, but I'm, I'm extremely happy. Uh, what was the most unexpected thing? What was the hardest moment of the match? Um, his hand and wrist, uh, for his size, uh, almost felt like Todd Hutchins, just super strong, was able to maintain uh, his hand and wrist a lot better than I thought he would. And he's got incredible arm strength, and I, wanted to, I honestly just wanted to run from it, so um, yeah. Were you expecting a little bit less from him or more? Um, after his match with uh, Zarov and Lefty, he had me ready to leave the, leave the building. I was uh, like, what the hell did I get myself into? Uh, no, he was everything I expected. He, he, he pushed me to my, to my limit. In fact, at, uh, I think it was the second match or the third match, I thought, shit, should I give this thing up? It might snap here. <laughs> Every tongue must confess that this guy is the God. But by the way, don't get me wrong. Oleg Petrenko is a super strong guy, super nice guy. I have so much respect for him. But this guy, really, I really thought that Oleg Petrenko was going to destroy him. I told my friends he's going to destroy John and it hurts my heart to think that way because even if I pull him, I want him to win. Of course, he's gonna win anyways. But <laughs> so don't take that. Don't think that I'm taking side when John is there. I don't know. Congratulations, John. Congrats one more time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I, I, I felt your energy. It was it was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.